Hello again, I'm Paul from Ask the Expert. Today we have a question from Melacule, I hope I said that right, uh, from Johannesburg in South Africa. Now, Melacule would like to know, why are there so many different thicknesses of discs? I assume what you mean, Melacule, is cutting discs, uh, because that's uh, the range of these are by far the most uh, variance of different, uh, different thicknesses. So that's where I'll concentrate, I hope that's okay. Uh, so in front of us here, we have three different uh, cutting discs. On the left-hand side here, we have an ultra-thin uh, one millimeter cutting disc. In the middle here, we have a 1.3 millimeter cutting disc. And on the far right here, we actually have a disc that's 2.5 millimeters in thickness. Okay, so, so why? All right, so the answer is for that is it, it depends on the application. So it depends what you're actually trying to do and what you're trying to cut with the disc. So it's really about the material and a little bit about the tool you're using as well. So in front of us here, we have two, uh, two pieces of stainless steel. And obviously, as you can see, they are quite different indeed. We have quite a thin, quite a small section of stainless steel. And we also have quite a thick, uh, chunky bit of, uh, of stainless steel here too. So say, for example, we wanted to cut these, uh, these pieces of stainless steel in half. Um, for the th small, thin piece, it makes perfect sense to be using the ultra-thin uh, wheel. Uh, the reason is, is because you'll do it really very quickly. It'll be through that like a knife through hot butter in an instant. No burn, uh, and it's all about the speed. Uh, but if you tried to use the one millimeter wheel to cut this really thick piece of stainless steel, yes, of course it will do it, uh, but it, uh, it won't get very far. It will wear the disc away before you've actually cut through uh, this piece of steel. The disc will be gone, so you'll have to stop, you'll have to change over the, your tool to a new cutting disc and start again. So again, and, and starting a cut when you've already stopped in the middle is not always the best thing to do. Also, when you're cutting uh, very thick material like this, it's quite easy to, to, uh, to flex the disc a little bit inside the cut and start to wander off in a strange angle so you can actually start to go in a curve, uh, a slight curve which is not ideal if you want a straight cut. So when you have uh, thick pieces of steel it's often better to go thicker. Yes it will take you longer to push this uh, wider disc through the material and cut through that material but you will end up with a much straighter uh, cut because the wheel is more stable inside the cut and you're less likely to have to stop and change for, for a new disc. And obviously the 1.3 in the middle it's it's for material that's slightly different, you know, bigger than this and smaller than this, essentially. Okay, so thin discs for thin material and small areas, uh, thicker discs for thicker material and larger, larger components. Hope that answers your question, Malakul, and I hope I said your name right too. All right, any more questions, put them down in the comments below and we'll get back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Bye-bye.